so so one of the main um, um, services of, of a free speech union, certainly in the UK, and it will be so here in New Zealand, Steve, is that the free speech union can decide to come to the aid of individuals. Uh, individuals faced with, with uh, a, a huge, well-funded uh, media corporation are, are helpless. Um, but the FSU um, gathering support, gathering uh, funding, can, can come to the aid of individuals and help them to hold institutions to account. And that's what's happening in, in Britain. So since the FSU in Britain was founded four years ago, the landscape has been transformed. Yeah. Uh, one example of that that we've covered extensively here on the platform is a young man who you're going to meet this evening, Oliver Joel, who decided to um, give a speech at a school speech competition. Have you, you been briefed on this no, yet? No, not yet. So Oliver Joel, uh, year 11 student, um, writes a speech for a school speech competition and he gets through to the finals and he's told by Facebook and he's announced on Facebook that he's in the uh, finals. And his speech is entitled The Decline of Western Civilization." and suggests that moral turpitude and various other things, and he quotes some German uh, philosophers, I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, uh, controversial. Sounds like a great guy. <laughs> yeah. So he does his speech, and he's in the finals, and the deputy uh, head of the school comes and says, you, you, you're in the finals, but not if you give that speech. You might upset people. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Right, you might upset people. That's got ideas in it that are right wing, and we can't have you doing that. Right. Um, and Oliver came and talked to us, and we had him on the program. We did him lead his, read a speech on the pro, uh, yeah. here on air. Yeah. Uh, nothing from the school have absolutely gaslit him. Yeah. Uh, they've lied about their reasons for not letting him, uh, and they said, "Oh, you were never in the finals." Well, he clearly was. Yeah. And he's going to give a speech at Parliament tonight uh, with the <laughs> support of the, of the Free Speech Union. You're going to meet him. Fantastic. Tonight. I haven't met him, but he seems a wonderful guy. And I know that a, a number of people say, oh, that's a small story. What are you doing standing up for, a, you know, a 17-year-old schoolboy about a speech competition? It's a, and it seemed to me that that was actually what this is all about, right? It, it's, it's, the, it's the principle, and, and this kind of stuff infects all walks of life. So, yeah, take this case. The principle that someone can't speak because other people might be upset with what they say uh, is, is something we, we need to get off the table entirely because um, um, it, Sean, if, if, if I say something to you that's true yeah. and that upsets you, you're offended by it. Yeah. Well, that, that's on you. Yeah, that's right. Right? That's uh, right. That's on you. Uh, so, so it's not, it's not, it's not illegal to offend people. Of course, we shouldn't do it just for the sheer hell of it. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> well, you you can, <laughs> you can. But no, this is, it's a really important. Uh, this, this notion that we should we should we should avoid kindness requires we we shouldn't uh, uh, offend left-wing people yeah. is something we need to call out and uh, this, poor, this poor kid without the help of the FSU and the, the, co the combination of the FSU and the media, your media Sean, yeah. is absolutely vital in embarrassing institutions. Yeah. Get, get the headmaster of the school, the headmistress of the school to come forward and give an account of themselves, otherwise, otherwise they, they should resign. Yeah. Uh, and look, I, I agree completely, it's been, been appalling the, the way the school has behaved.